This video is all about page 36 out of your math book. It says, Al's produce stand sells six ears of corn for $1.50. Barbara's produce stand sells 13 ears of corn for $3.12. Write two equations, one for each produce stand, that model the relationship between the number of ears of corn sold and the cost. Then, use each equation to help complete the table, tables below. Okay, so I don't know exactly why they did this, but I just want, want it to be very clear that um, this side represents Al's produce stand, and then this side right here represents Barbara's produce stand. And the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to write two equations um, for, well, two equations, one for each stand, okay? Um, and it's implied that these are proportional relationships. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with Al's produce stand, and I'm going to label the um, horizontal table X and Y. So ears is the independent variable, cost is the dependent variable, because the cost of the corn depends on how many ears you purchase. Okay, um, we do need to find the unit rate before we write our equation. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Y divided by X to find my unit rate. And the Y value is the cost. It's $1.50 for six ears of corn. And from there, we need to find the unit rate because right there, that's just the rate. We need to find the unit rate. So what you're going to do is you want one in the denominator. Oops, I don't know why it depends. So I want to know how much is it for one ear of corn. So to go from six to one, Using multiplication or division, well, you have to divide. So I got to divide by 6, divide by 6. So $1.50 divided by 6, let's see what you get. 25 cents, so 25 cents per ear. Don't forget your decimal, it's not $25 per ear. That would be horrible. Okay, so now that we've got the unit rate right there, we can go ahead and write our equation because one ear of corn costs 25 cents. So for our equation, you start with y equals, remember the spot for the unit rate, times x. Well, the unit rate is 25 hundredths, or what would be completely acceptable is if you wrote 1 fourth. y equals 1 fourth x, because remember, 1 divided by 4 is the same thing. So that's 0.25 and 1 fourth are interchangeable. Okay, we're not quite done yet because we definitely have to label what the x and the y represent in the context of the problem. So the x is the independent variable and that represents the number of ears of corn. And then the y, which is the dependent variable, represents the cost in dollars. Okay? All right, so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and write down the, find the unit rate for Barbara's produce stand. And it'd be a really bright idea if you pause the video and try to do, do it on your own, simply because you're gonna need to be able to do that for assessments. Okay, but if you need the extra support, here's what I would do. First, I'd start off by finding the unit rate. I'm gonna use this value, these values right here because all the other ones are, you know, blank. So I gotta go y divided by x. And the y is the cost, the dependent variable, the cost depends on how many ears of corn you purchase. So if you buy 13 ears of corn, it's gonna cost $3.12. So to find the unit rate, because this right here is just a rate, I need to get one in the denominator because I wanna know how much does one ear cost, okay? So to go from there to there, I just divided by 13. 13 divided by 13 is one. $3.12 divided by 13 is, I don't know. 24 cents per ear. Okay, so that right there, folks, is the unit rate. And we can go ahead right now and write down our equation. So y equals the unit rate. You could also write, instead of 0.24, you could write 24 over 100, because this is 24 hundredths. 24 hundredths is the same as 24 over 100, okay, as a fraction. Now let's label everything like you're supposed to. X represents ears of corn, number of ears of corn. If you're having any trouble, remember how I just did this with you? So you can always re re revert back to that and like see what we did. Y represents the cost in dollars. That's a dollar sign, okay? All right, so I'm not quite done because we're supposed to do this next part. 
Use each equation to help complete the table below. So you see how right here it's blankety blank, 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 blank. Um, what you've done in the past is, you know, you would multiply the x value times that unit rate. So 6 times 25 hundredths would give you $1.50 and so on and so forth. So right here, you'd have to multiply 14 times 25 hundredths to get this value, 21 times 25 hundredths to get this value, then go 50 divided by 25 hundredths to get this value. And I, I know that many of you can already do that, but I really want to follow these directions right now. Use each equation to help complete the table below. We're gonna use the equation to fill in those values, even though I know it's probably gonna take a little bit longer, but get over it because you really need this practice, okay? So for this guy right here to figure out this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw like a circle around it. We need to know this one. So I'm gonna start with that. Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna first put a box around this because that's super duper important. I'm gonna use that throughout this whole process. So I'm looking for the cost. The cost is Y, so I'm not gonna put a number there because I don't have a number there yet. So I'm gonna keep it as Y. Keep the same exact unit rate. And see the number of years of corn? Well, that's given to us. See how it's 14? So instead of writing the x, I'm going to substitute the 14 in for the x. And I know it's multiply because 25 hundredths smooshed next to the x means multiply, okay? So that means multiply. So you need to go 25 hundredths times 14 and figure that out. And you would get $3.50, okay? So we're going to take that and put it right here. I'm going to circle it matches up here and I'm just gonna put three dollars and fifty cents just like that okay all right now we have this next one right there and I'm gonna designate that one with a triangle cuz I'm gonna go down here so it's easy to follow in case you ever get stuck so I'm gonna use the exact same equation y equals the reason I'm using y keeping it y is because I don't know the cost see how we don't know it y equals 25 hundredths, you know, 25 cents times x, but we know the value for x is 21. So you're going to go y equals 25 hundredths times 21, which is $5.25. And I'm going to put a triangle around that, because if you're like, how did she get that? Oh, it's over here. So right here we're going to write $5.25. Okay? Now this one up here, I'm going to do like a cloud. Okay, so we're going to find that value right now. And yes, we have to use the equation because I really want you to practice that, okay? Is it the only way to figure this out? No way. You have plenty of other tools to help you figure it out. But specifically, I want you to use the equation. Okay, so we don't know the value of x. We don't know how many years, but we know the cost is 50 bucks, $50. So right here, since y represents the cost, I'm going to substitute the y with a 50. I don't have to put 50.00 because 50.00 is still 50. Same thing keep your same unit rate. And we don't know what X is. We don't know the number of years of corn that would we would need to, to make it cost 50 bucks. So we're gonna keep it as a variable, okay? So this dates back to when we would solve equations. So we're gonna build it first, start with X, then we multiplied it by 25 hundredths. Yes, that says multiply, that's not colon, sorry. Multiply by 25 hundredths, inverse operation of multiply by 25 hundredths is to divide by 25 hundredths. And that's what we're gonna do to both sides of that equal sign. 25 hundredths divided by 25 hundredths is 1. 1 times x is x, or 1x, same thing. 50 divided by 25 hundredths is 200. And I'm going to put a cute little cloud around that because that is how many ears of corn you would need for the cost to be $50. Okay, folks, you should pause your video and do this side of the problem yourself because I just modeled to you exactly how to do it over here, okay? And it'd be really, really smart to get that practice working by yourself. And then, you know, unpausing the video to check your answer. Here we go. So for this one, I'm gonna go draw a heart to represent this. So we need to find the cost of 14 years of corn. We're gonna use the equation. So I don't know the cost, so I'm gonna keep that as a variable. Keep the same exact unit rate. And the number of years of corn we got are 14. So we're multiplied by 14, okay? So our cost would equal 24 hundredths times 14, which is $3.36. And I'm gonna put a heart around it so that you can be like, oh, that goes right there. Okay? 
The next one, uh, they want to know how much uh, 21 ears of corn would cost. So use that equation. Y equals, we are keeping it a variable of Y because we don't know the cost. We know the unit rate. Um, the number of ears of corn is 21 ears. Okay, and so we're going to go 24 hundredths or 24 cents times 21, and that is $5.04. Oh, what should we draw around that? We'll do like a spiky cloud. And what was it? $5.04. Okay. All right, now this one, let's go ahead and do like a loopy, loopy, whatever shape that is, okay? Okay, we're gonna use the equation again. And in this, this time, we know the cost. It's telling us, hey, the cost is $49.92. So since um, that's representing Y, we're gonna substitute $49.92 in for Y. So instead of writing the Y, we are gonna put $49.92. I don't need to put the dollar sign in the equation. And that's gonna equal the unit rate times X. X represents number of years of corn. We don't know that, so we're gonna keep it a variable. So let's go ahead and build it. You started with x, then you had multiplied it by 24 hundredths. The inverse operation multiplying by 24 hundredths is dividing by 24 hundredths. So that's what you're gonna do to both sides of that equal sign. 24 hundredths divided by 24 hundredths is one. One times x is one x, or x, same thing. And now you gotta go $49.92 divided by 24 cents, and you would get 200 and eight. Don't put a dollar sign there because that represents ears of corn, not money. Okay, so we have 208 ears of corn would cost $49.92. Okay, bye.